It's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and I'm here with my friend and teammate Trey Mulling. What's up, Trey? What's up, Tyler? How you doing? Doing good. So we're here. Um, it took us a couple days, but we're here to go over his deck list uh, because he won Sunday's in-person Gen Con event. So uh, we're gonna go through the deck list and talk about matchups and all that fun stuff. It it's gonna be a good time. I'm pretty hyped. Me too. Me too. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we could start just Gen Con was a blast. Uh, how'd you like it? Yes, it uh, I love Gen Con. It was awesome seeing you guys again. I mean, what it's been like eight years or something crap like that. Maybe longer than I've seen you. So, it was pretty cool. Meeting Max and everybody that I've played so much on webcam. It was just a good time. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. Yeah, it's been like... I don't know, like eight to ten years since we saw each other in person. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, Trey used to live in my area, and he's since moved for his career and to start a family. And he's over in Kentucky now with Shannon. That's how we met Shannon. Um, but yeah, he won with Imperial Dramon. So uh, we're just gonna go through the deck and talk about matchups. And yeah, hope you guys like it. All right, and I'll start with the egg since that's what everybody asks about when they look at the picture. So it's just for Demi V1. Uh, it's the only egg you want to see. Uh, you want the draw. The draws. Um, it helps unbreak your hand if you do break, and it helps you see the Blitz Omni for game or the logo for game, etc. And uh, we'll go to rookies. It's one draw Bumon, um, four jamming Vmons, two restate Vmon. Four Gomas, uh, two Saihukamons, one and one Elecmon. So it's four Gomas because they're all hollow and I am just like that. So it, it, it would have <laughs> bothered me if it was three and two. But it can be whatever you want it to be on the two drops. Uh, you can play five though, uh, five Vanillas. Um, and then for level fours, it's one Grizzly, um, three Koalamon. <coughs> Uh, two Spearmon, uh, two Gorillamon, and three Logamon. Uh, this is pretty standard. Um, I, yeah, there's not really much difference you could make here. Uh, maybe do two Grizzlies and two Koalamons, but uh, you really want the one drop level fours uh, to turbo up into the level fives and then Imperial. So. It really helps having the one drop blocker because um, it doesn't, I mean, you, you start with three, you don't pass two, you can pass one, you can choke. Uh, so yeah, really, it's it's just really beneficial to have the one drop blocker instead of two grizzlies. And uh, level fives is just four pails and four dino V. Uh, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's what we've been running since we started playing Imperial. So, uh, four Imperial, and then the MVP, Nidhogg. Uh, I run two. Um, Dan only ran one in his list that he won with. Uh, he talked to me about a couple of different things. We tried Needle Sprays. We, I ran an Omni deck that I thought would be pretty good on Thursday, but this is just the most ideal list and line up for level sixes. It's just the two dead hog, the four imperial. Um, it just it. You know, uh, people worry about seeing dead hog too much. Uh, I never saw it too much. I'm not saying that you won't, but it's also it gives you something extra in security uh, for like Lord Nightmon to die to or uh, War Grave on or things like that. Um, so it makes your security stronger. And you never really see both of them, and if you do, it's late game. It doesn't really matter at that point. Uh, two Blitz Omni, two Kakaitis, uh, four Hammer Spark, and three Davis. Uh, some people run four Davis. I don't really personally know how they fit that in here. I think the three and three with the Lobos is, is fine. I see Davis enough um, to where I wouldn't really want to add an extra one. Um, like I said, we tried Needle Sprays instead of Kakaitis just to be cute, um, but it didn't really work the way we wanted it to, so we just went back to the two Kakaitis.
So that's the deck list. Um, Dan's been running it since the start of BT5. I kind of went away from it, but came back because I just love Imperial so much. Uh, and I don't know, I feel like it has really good matchups against everything. Um, it doesn't really, I wouldn't say it struggles against Lord Nightmon, but if you get to the late game, uh, you're going to have a bad time. So you want to try to beat Lord Nightmon as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, uh, any questions for me, Tyler, or anything you want to ask, or that you think people would want to know? Um, no, I mean, I guess a lot of things are like, people ask about the two Nidhogs, but I think that two Nidhogs is good because people at this point, because of Dan's success, are expecting one. So, like, it could almost be if you do see both, it's almost beneficial because, like, you hit them with the first one and they rebuild and then you could hit them with the second if you end up drawing it. Yeah, exactly. Or if they, like, hit it in security, they're like, oh, okay, so the Nidhogs gone. Yeah, I'm sick. Uh, <laughs> most people never really expected the second one. And there was a lot of rookie rush at Gen Con. Um... Yeah, I there I was. I played at least two. Um, and Nidhogg is so good in this deck against Rookie Rush. So, I mean, yeah. obviously it's good against Rookie Rush, period. But in this deck, it really helps. Because you slow them down or you start them over, and then you just build up and swing for game. I mean, it's it's really, really yeah. good. And um, uh, just uh, for the sake of clarity, I could link in the description box the .dev profile, too. Just because... It is a little hard to see on camera everything, especially with alt arts. <laughs> but yeah, they're a little. Uh, it's it's a little shiny. Uh, it's max maxed out. I I was a Yu-Gi-Oh player, so it's my one trait I brought from Yu-Gi-Oh is everything has to be shiny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what were your matchups like on Sunday? Um, so round one I played that black uh, the black blocker deck. Uh, I do believe it was the carbon copy of the one that won. I think it was Saturday's Gen Con event, or Friday's Gen Con event. Um, it, uh, it was, I don't really ever struggle with Black Walker, um, just because when we played in the Digimon Coliseums all those times, I saw so much Black Walker that uh, I almost was nauseated by it. Um, but I really learned the matchup, and I really learned, like, the ins and outs of like when to attack, when to make them trade, um, things like that. Um, so it, it was a relatively easy matchup, I would say. Um, uh, he he did get one game off of me, and then game three it was just a blowout. Um, but uh, round two, I played what was it? Uh, was it purple? I think it was Lilith Loop. I played Lilith Loop. Um, yeah, I don't, well, uh, I don't think I really, I think I 2 owed him, uh, actually I know I 2 owed him, uh, he had this crazy turn, um, with Lilith and, uh, Zwart defeat in game two, and he almost had the comeback, uh, but I top decked the Blitz Omni to go with the Imperial for game, um, but I think I had Kakaida in hand for his war defeat too. But it was uh, it was <clears throat> purple's purple. I mean, if it goes off, it goes off, and if it breaks, it breaks. And I feel like he break game one, and then game two was just back and forth. But I ended up taking it off the top deck. And then game three, or round three, was green, and that was probably the best game I had all day, maybe weekend. Um, besides my with George on Thursday, um, it was back and forth in all three games. Uh, it came down to uh, my turn, and I drew. He put me to six with a blocker. I drew a Davis. I already had a Davis on the field, uh, so when I played the Davis, I flipped the Lobo, and it gave me enough to swing for game. Um, so it was really back and forth, and. Uh, it was a pretty good game, but uh, I ended up taking that one off the low bow. And then round four was round four was a mirror match. Uh, it was actually someone from my locals up here, and we play a lot, so uh, we're used to each other, and it was a lot of fun um, to play 
someone who isn't on the team, but that I know in the mirror match, it wasn't, you know, so it was like, oh, mirror match, because, I mean, we have fun with each other, we know what we're playing, we've been playing it for a long time, uh, I ended up taking that one 2-0, or no, 2-1, one, one. Uh, he did hog me game two, or game one, and it did, uh, it did take him the game. Um, and then round five, I played Purple Dan Devi, which was a surprise. And shout outs to that player for being 4-0 with Purple Dan Devi uh, at that point, because he was he was a really good Purple player, and it really surprised me when he played Dan Devi. Um, I wasn't expecting it at all. And game two, I had probably the craziest play I've ever had in Imperial. Um, I swung twice with Imperial, swung with a Vmon. Uh, swung with the pale, played an imperial over the pale, and then swung with everything again. I mean, I, that game at that point. And I also had a blitz on me in hand, so I, I feel that was probably the biggest blowout game of the day. Um, and then round six, I played security control, and it was 2-0, clean sweep. Um, never really was pressured. Uh, I don't really fear security control that much this format with this deck because I feel like I swing too fast for most red yellow security controls. Um, the only thing that I do, I mean that I would lose to is like a Zwart in security, but I didn't hit it and um, yeah, that was that was it uh, for Sunday. Well, uh, actually, not to correct you, but. There was seven rounds, but I think your first round opponent didn't show up, right? No, I think there was six. I was six and oh. There were seven rounds on Thursday. Oh. I, was, I, I might have it backwards. Didn't one of your opponents not show up? Or was that on yeah. Thursday? That was on Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting Thursday. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> no, no, trust me, because it was all running together. Oh, right, because the pair down lost in the last round, so it ended a yeah. round early. And ended around early. If the pair down wouldn't have lost, I would have played Rookie Rush. Um, it would have been Ari. Yep. Um, but uh, he did lose, so I didn't have to play him. Uh, but we are going to play uh, soon. Um, so if anybody wants to know the results of that, we can tell you. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so Imperial. It's been doing GFG pretty good. I'm super stoked that Trey got a W. Uh, I'm super stoked that I was there for it. And Gen Con was a fucking blast. Like, it was yes, it, it was so much fun. Like, I, I don't know about you, but, like, I remember going to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! events when we were younger. And, like, it just felt so, like, anxiety-inducing. Because I felt like, man, everyone's just out to shark me. And everyone wants to win. Nobody, like, there was no sense of community, really. But, like, this just yeah. felt like playing games with friends. Like, even though it's competitive okay. and cutthroat to an extent, like, I never felt bad about winning or bad about losing it was just a good time no yeah it definitely was uh like i said the the guy that i the green player that i played um i get i guess uh from what shannon's told me he actually plays in lexington but i've never met him um but it was just it was a good time like there was no hard feelings about the back and forth game or like that he lost um i wouldn't even have felt bad if i lost because it was it was such a good game um and and it felt like that the whole the whole time like everybody was real genuine about like winning and losing um there wasn't really that cutthroat feeling like you're talking about with the new game. and i think being on webcam and playing all the time with these people i think it's really helped with that aspect of it because we all feel like friends we all felt like friends before we got there and then i mean it just grew from there from meeting everybody and and uh i mean yeah i feel like i i'm Went to Gen Con with a bunch of friends. Yeah, it was all awesome. but like a bunch <laughs> more friends than I actually planned on going with. But yeah, I mean, so I mean, there you have it. I think what was it? Didn't we price out the deck? If you're not max rarity like you, it's only like what about a hundred bucks to build the deck? Yeah, it's only like a hundred bucks if you're not max rarity. Yes. So, so like if you're new to the game, you want to know a straightforward deck to play that gets some pretty good results. I mean, Imperial is tried and true and we got another month of bt5 now so <laughs> yes yeah if it wasn't for security against rookie rush i would have went x2 on thursday and dan has come fourth he's one and 19th 
with the deck. Um, so, I mean, it's tried and true. We have the results to prove it. Um, I, like I said, I don't fear any matchup, uh, even Lord Nightmon. Um, I'm not scared of the matchup. I could, because I mean, you're either gonna win fast or, like I said, you're gonna lose. So th those are your two options. So, <laughs> and you can steal games. Uh, you can watch uh, Mario Gaming World's uh, Twitch and watch me steal a game. I did lose the match, but I did steal a game. On Lord Nightmon with Hammer Spark. Just putting them to one and hoping on that spark and security. Yes. Yeah, that, I mean, it happens. Um, so, yeah, Trey uh, took home Sunday, Gen Con for GFG. Shannon actually won Thursdays with Green. We're going to try and get another breakdown. But if you guys, if this gets uploaded first, uh, I think it was the exact same list that's already on our channel that he. Uh, difference is the Sora and Joe is the second. Oh, no, I mean for Shannon. Like, if people are wondering about oh, that list. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the exact same. He's been running the same list the entirety of... So we're going to have, just like this, another just quick deck profile and, like, a uh, breakdown. I think, didn't he say he played seven, six Lord Knight and one Rookie Rush? Lord Knight one and one Rookie Rush. That's yes. an insane day. Just yellow all day. Yes. Yeah, I would have been fried. I understand why his Sunday went the way it did. Because I would have been done with Digimon after Thursday like that. But we're going to try and get him on here too. Uh, but yeah, it was just a good time, everyone. Thanks for, if you were at Gen Con, thanks for hanging out. And me and Trey and the rest of the squad. And thanks for being cool. I mean, just in general, thanks for all your support with GFG and the Discord. Um and the YouTube channel and everything. It's been really cool. I mean, Trey's been here since the beginning with me and George, and it's been a great time. Yes, yes it has. I appreciate <laughs> you guys bringing me on when you did. I you know I was new to the game, but it really uh, it really showed me how to play. So Yeah, I, I mean, it, it happened very naturally. We got a nice little family now. So yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. Do you have anything else you want to say before we wrap up, Trey? Uh, no, uh, just if you have any questions, uh, and you're in the Discord, don't, uh, be scared to reach out and ask me, um, I might not answer right away all the time, because, uh, I do have two kids, and I work, so, uh, I am kind of busy, but I will definitely try to answer any questions you have, um, but other than that, that would be about it. Yeah, thanks for, uh, tuning in, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll get some more videos up here, I think, I want to try and get Shannon on. And then I think Ari wants to do a video with us too, just because a lot of people are asking him what he's doing different with Rookie Rush, because he just keeps top eighting with it. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's definitely a good Rookie Rush player. I think he's definitely. the only person at the two in person Gen Cons who top eighted both days. Which is, yeah, is. kind of wild. It is. It is. But, but yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone. Guy of Force Gaming, Train Tyler. Uh, have a great night.